There is no better way to explain this. There isn't a softer, more comfortable way to let you know what's happened. But there is the right way. There is the strong way. And there's the way that shows my commitment and my loyalty to you. It is bitter. It will change things. But it does not make me waver from you. It does not make me turn away. I will still hold your hand. I will still wake up beside you. There is still love in me for you that grows. It is developing certain ebbs, certain changes to it. But it is not faltering. It is not breaking. I do not feel my heart in a chasm. I still feel as though you have my heart. You still have me. I am not betraying you, and I am not leaving. I know we have a future and a present. Past mistakes, past choices, past judgments, past temptations sting, but do not hurt. They ruffle feathers, they tussle the hair, but all can be mended, all can be put back. It is simply with time and an understanding that we are still together. And it will take time to feel that bond closely. For now, I would like to try and initiate simply being close if it's not something natural and forefront at your mind and my mind, but we make decisions, we make choices each day if we're going to let our inner heart be hurt and not come back from it. And I do appreciate you taking the time to think about this. Do not walk away. I get it, we're not going to have a full-blown discussion. But to know you haven't left as well helps us both. Whether we seek other mediation, assistance, professional care, between the both of us, we can sort through this change. And I do hope you'll find that love once again for me, for you, and for everyone else involved in this. Would you like to go to bed with me? I know it's going to be awkward, tense, but we have to go about it with the intention to love, the intention to do better, the intention to stay on course of what we want in life. If it's not what you feel drives and pulls you, I'd rather we talk about that, set aside the excuses, set aside the things that what society expects of us. We are our own people, 
We are our own couple. We are together at the moment. And I do hope forever. So, we can make choices once we go to bed, turn the lights off. And when we wake up, we can stay or we can go. The door may be closed, but I'm not going to lock it. In time, that door will stay open. And that may only be days, that may be weeks. Because I am only human. You're only human as well. The only thing not to have a regret on either side for this. So, grab your pillow and go back upstairs and tomorrow things will have some sort of even a little bit more sense if not a complete epiphany. Okay? We don't need to go the apology tour. We're going to have to deal with the confrontation, uncomfortable as it is. It is something we have to address in some form. And again, we can seek out other aids, we can seek out our friends, we can seek out our families. Or we can do this with each other, alone. I don't know what's going on in your head. With mostly silence, I am left to await your answer, to avoid assuming. I would like to pick your brain, but to push you is going to start something that shouldn't have even begun. And I'd like us to go. I mean, it might be uncomfortable, yes, but it was going to be too different from my own sleep pattern, so I will be selfish for that. I'm selfish for the fact that I know it affects your sleep as well, as much as it affects mine bitter, angry, sad, frustrated, confused, betrayed, hurt, lonely, scared, for how many different emotions are going through you, it would make it just a little bit easier if we just went to bed and wake up tomorrow with a better resolve, strength, sleep capacity, I don't know. It's been already a long night. It's been a long day. You're stressed. I get it. I'm stressed, but I'd rather see you recover. I know I can. But I want to support you so you know yourself, your choices, your decisions. So come on. You lead the way, it is your making your decisions. This is the only selfish thing I'm going to do today. Everything else is by your design. I do hope, and I do pray, I do wish, and I do quietly demand that we continue for. Because I put my faith put my commitment and I put my loyalty into you and only you rings or no rings documents or no documents I chose you and I would assume the same that you've chosen me as well
Okay. Good night now. <laughs>